What's up guys, we're here to review the brand new Infinite Physics by Storm. Uh, on this 42 foot house shot, just compared the Idle Cosmos to the Idle Helios. And uh, I have a Nova to compare to this Infinite Physics. So let's get to it. All right, it's infinite physics time. I went 55, I mean, sorry, 50 by five and a quarter by 40. Puts the pin right over my middle, I mean, uh, over my bridge. CG right near my thumb. Okay, so start straight here. really like the colors of this. It's a darker ball. Um, really like the mystery, mystery uh, scent. Oh. To me, for those who remember, Lifesavers used to have a uh, lollipop that was like berry flavored. And this ball smells like the berry flavored Lifesavers uh, lollipop. Um, First thing that I thought when I opened the box, like, wow, bring back some memories from when I was a kid. Okay, five left. What I really like out of this one too is it keeps the pins really low. Uh, so far, I've thrown it on this out shot here, and I'm also throwing it on a couple of different patterns. Um, fresh patterns, patterns with a lot of urethane thrown. This ball just keeps coming for days. Um, I've been hearing reports that people were saying that it's on the smoother side. It's smoother when you think pearl. However, it's still very, very angular. Um, more arky, but it's still very responsive it's just not like that hockey stick motion all right five left off the last shot man it just runs pins over absolutely just goes bonkers when it gets to them I can see many of these in my future, to be honest with you. Um, first impressions, it's probably my favorite Pearl ASIM that has, it's actually come from Storm, um, not Rogue or Nine or Global, actually a Storm asymmetrical Pearl. And I, that's saying a lot, but so far that's what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling. Five more left. I feel like I can throw it anywhere I want to and it's going to strike, especially on the 12 to 1. <laughs> oh, hit that one. Like I say, I really like the colors. It's not bright. It's very easy to read. You can see the rotations. It's just a good looking bowling ball. All right. Five more left. That's where I'm gonna get my hand around it. Yeah, it just, I don't think I have to talk too much. This ball, all it does is strike, guys. All it does is strike. One more and I'm gonna slow wheel it and then we're gonna compare it to the Nova. Um, well, let's just keep going until, until we stop striking, I guess. I think that's five or six. Okay. 
Should I just move back right? <laughs> oh, Lordy. Guys, this ball, and that last shot I didn't throw very well at all. Didn't get out of it very well. Direction wasn't the best. It just, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'll move back right just to play around. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. And I'm not just saying it because it's striking. It's just, it's such a predictable, versatile, asymmetrical pearl that I've never seen before. And I'm not trying to hype this ball up. I don't think I need to. I mean, look at this, look at what this ball does. Bad shot. It doesn't matter because it still gets there. Almost nine pins. Guys. Oh, I think I've said guys like 25,000 times, but. Oh, wow. I know y'all want to see the Nova, but I think I just want to keep seeing this ball strike. What about y'all? Oh, come on, give me that hit, give me that hit. All right, it's Nova time. Start at the same place with the Nova. Like we did with the Infinite. See how much more forward it is. Even though the cover, the cover stock's weaker. Now this one does have a little bit of lane shine. Um, I didn't leave it out of box. I actually like to throw the Nova like this and it kind of makes, makes it a little fair uh, to compare to the Infinite around the same surface instead of out of box surfaces. Five left, just like uh, the infinite. See how much earlier it is. Uh, just core, I believe. Because the cover stock, eh, they're pretty. I would say Nova is a little weaker for me anyway. The cover stock feels a little weaker. R2X hybrid versus versus the uh, Rex. Pearl. Five more left with Nova. Oh, bad shot. Really bad shot. We'll try that again. I just keep looking at my infinite physics over here on the rack and it's like, throw me. All right, that was bad, bad effort on that last one. Let's throw a better one. Better. I guess it a little bit. I think I'm going to get a little slower with the Nova to get it to, to pick up down the lane. Just because it is earlier and, and rounder down lane than the Infinite. Alright, slower speed. And run it a little bit. Good shot.
Five more left. Yeah, I linked it just a tad right, but you can, it's just not, it's just not quite as responsive down lane as the infinite. And, and it's really, you, you can see the differences between the two. And if you have a Nova, uh, you probably want to start with it on the fresh and then transition into the infinite physics when your Nova starts, you know, plot tinning or flat tinning. Um, and you could probably stay in the infant the rest of the night. Slow wheel with Nova. All right, well, that one's going to wrap it up, guys. Appreciate all the support. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. And I have more videos coming to compare the infinite physics to other balls in the SPI catalogs. Um, I think you need to go get one. Go get one as soon as you can. Uh, they're available July 8th in all pro shops around the country, uh, along with the Auto Cosmos. Both of these balls are phenomenal pieces. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Appreciate the support, guys.